wasn't my idea, but my wife got me into watching The Bachelorette. What did yeah. you call it though? Uh, I didn't what call. call I didn't call it Trash TV. I did not call it Trash TV. <laughs> That's not what I called it. What's up? It's Kenny Don here from Kenny Don Films. Wearing seat belts, seat belts in the house. Check it out, we got Luke Parker. What's up, what's up? We're about to go fill our bellies. Hashtag earn your carbs. Yeah, absolutely, and he definitely earned his carbs today. Yeah, you did too, man. Yeah, that. I definitely helped with some tire flips. Yeah, you did. Uh, sweated a little, I loaded some weight. It was beautiful. Um, someone should have been filming me doing it, but uh, <laughs> you get what you get. We just, <laughs> we just got some B-roll. Yes. Of uh, of the loop training think tank, Alpharetta, Georgia. Yes, sir. What what? <laughs> so yeah, he's got a he's got a comp tomorrow. He's tapering for, but we got some good good footage of him doing his thing. And then I come over and I'm just like, <sighs> pop in and out of it, roll yeah. it, flip it back the other way. It's kind of like some crazy barbaric crap. <laughs> I'm just trying to. Yeah, just get the water out. All right, back. We just uh, we finished some lunch. We crushed. We did. Lunch. We got some pokey. <laughs> yeah. Tiny, tiny backstory on me. Before we get into uh, to Luke over here, um, my wife and I moved to Atlanta a little while ago, yep. and uh, so one of the things we like to do is collect ourselves at the end of the day, turn on the TV, and my wife wasn't my idea, but my wife got me into watching The Bachelorette. What did yeah. you call it though? Uh, I didn't what call. call it? I didn't call it trash TV. I did not call it trash TV. <laughs> That's not what I called. Uh, reality TV. Yeah, reality TV. So we noticed. Hey, you know, there's this guy. He's on there. He got the first impressions rose. Well, basically, my wife and I saw he had a little boo boo on his front shin, which is a box a jump, box scar. jump scar. And we noticed that if you crossfit, you just kind of know these things. And we we're like, oh my god, he crossfits, we crossfit, this is great. So I decided to reach out to him. He, he saw my work, obviously liked it a little bit. Let's come shoot with Kenny Don, because Kenny Don films. Kenny Don films. And uh, so, yeah, man, we got some good content. We were able to meet up again today. It's been uh, the whole COVID thing. Put a lot of distance between people. Anyway, we're back here together after COVID. Yes. Getting some good content. Second of many more to come. Who knows? Man, this guy gets to train at Think Tank for yes. everybody who's on the CrossFit world. Like, tell him like some of the the top level athletes that train out of at a Think Tank. You got Travis Mayer is the yeah. owner of the gym. Yes. He's a six-time Games athlete. Absolute stud. And all his buddies come to visit. Yeah. So all his buddies like include well no Olsen is his buddy but they shared the same head coach right Max El Hodge head coach training thing thing so no Olsen yeah he second fist man in the world comes to hang out throw down all the time uh, Chandler Smith you got the dude who represents Hong Kong another games athlete Ant Haynes comes visits Josh Miller um, international yeah international. international friends come like yeah. Lucas Parker from Canada oh, the nice. OG like red beard stud yeah Anyway, I did, I did want to ask, like, why CrossFit for you? Just quick background on me. Played um, football and baseball were my two, like, focus on sports in high school. Cool. And then I decided to do baseball in college. I ended up hanging up my cleats. I planned on playing professional baseball and making it to the big leagues, right? Yeah. That was my dream. Right. It didn't happen. And I was just always wanting to do something professionally right. and competitively. 
and I tried triathlons. Okay. With my brother and loved it. Yeah. But knew this is <laughs> this is probably not gonna work yeah. out for me. Was it the swimming? What was well, it? Well, no. I mean, the swimming was definitely the worst for me. Like, I, I'm good at biking. I yeah. got really good, and I'm a good runner. Right. And I just needed to obviously put in the training and the time. Right. But it was more of like, like even baseball. I did mainly sports specific training, but okay. I, I love bodybuilding. I love like just more intense stuff, like getting after it and lifting heavy weights. Yeah, yeah. And then CrossFit is literally the hybrid of like triathlon power lifting, mm -hmm. just lift big odd objects yeah. that are heavy and do savage stuff. Yeah. So I tried, all my buddies were like, dude, you need to try CrossFit. Okay. You got a good body for it. I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll give it a try. Yeah. Oh, Murph was my first experience. Wait, that was the first thing you went into? Yes. Was Murph? Yes. Did they, did you put on vest? I thought, what? I go in there all like, oh, I'm going to crush this. Yeah. Throw my 20 pound rock. It crushed me. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know what grips were, so my palms like ripped, or my, uh, no, I was doing strict. Oh, what? I was, I was doing the, I was trying the kip. I, I didn't know how to butterfly. Yeah. And my hands were tore up, just bleeding everywhere. It was, it was, oh, it was Did you warm. do it, did you do it partitioned, or did you go straight through the no, 120? Unpar unpartitioned. <laughs> who told you to do this? For sure. That freaking coach is fired. Like, who told you to do that? Actually, so. <laughs> no, Jesse Foster. Oh, that's who it is. You're fired, Jesse. No, Jesse, no. you're the man. I love you. Jesse's stud. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, he, he warned me. He was like, dude, yeah. I don't know if you want to do a vest. It's your first time. Yeah. And I don't know if you want to do a partition. No, he warned right. me. And I was this like new rookie that's like, oh, yeah, I, I'm going to right. I'm going to go on the games this right. year. I'm yeah. like, I'm, you know what I mean? So like not knowing what I was getting myself into. But yeah. since then, I fell in love. And now I just... Man, I feel calling in the CrossFit community, yeah. and I've done it for a year to kind of test the water. I've gotten to meet some really neat people, especially like yeah. you you brought up um, Rally TV. Yeah. Opened up so many cool doors to meet awesome people yeah. um, in the CrossFit community and just get connected with guys like you, bro. Oh, I appreciate it, man. Yeah. And I've fallen in love with the sport, and now I'm, I'm in a place mentally where you know, I'm, I'm all in, man. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm trying to really see how fit I can be yeah. and how far I can take the sport. So my, my goal is to you know have my way in the games one day yeah. once I get fit enough so dude hard. I mean if you haven't seen this guy he's he's kind of kind of fit <laughs> check out he he'll get there one day look we were talking earlier about some of your numbers man and how far you've improved right. in such a little amount of time that uh, me personally I, I have nothing but faith that you're gonna do big things in this sport keep up with Luke Barker uh, he's an up-and-comer he, he just goes beast mode on everything <laughs> beast mode <laughs> uh, yeah, it is kind of weird, man. Just to like hold yeah. the camera, isn't it? Talk. Hold it's it up and little... talk to it. Yeah, it's like it's like bicep curls yeah. almost. I don't I know, know why you're... I do that. <clears throat> What's going on, guys? Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this content, make sure to hit that like button, hit the bell notification so you'll never miss one of these videos, and uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Again, big thanks to to Luke Parker and uh, Training Think Tank for letting me get in some footage inside their amazing facility. Um, so yeah, until next time guys.